There are lots of fun and cute iPad accessories out there, many of which you actually do not need. So let's talk about the ones that are actually worth investing in. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my must have iPad accessories. Now, fun fact, I actually had the first ever iPad that I purchased in college and I used it for various reasons, but I would go on to sell that one after owning it for a few years and then I did not re-enter the world of iPad until just a few years ago. And since then, I have bought a number of iPad accessories a lot of which I don't actually use. So I want to share with you the ones that I actually use and recommend purchasing. The first one is kind of a no brainer and it is the Apple Pencil. Now it kind of makes sense to purchase an Apple Pencil if you're purchasing an iPad in this day and age, of course, because you can do a lot of things with it. Back when I had my first iPad, an Apple Pencil did not exist. So I really just had a big tablet that I hardly used, only at school, occasionally to reference textbooks because I have always loved having digital textbooks. But I really like the Apple Pencil because I use my iPad in numerous ways and I really like using it for note taking. I use the annotation app GoodNotes and I complete work from my full time job using GoodNotes. I have a digital planner that I have created and that I use where I go in each month and plan out my month, I plan out my weeks, I plan out other parts of my life. So I am using the annotation app a good bit. Now I hardly touch paper unless it is in a planner format. Otherwise, I don't have work documents that are paper, everything's digital. So I really am just a digital girly and I love having an Apple Pencil so that I can annotate. Now I have owned the second generation Apple Pencil as well as the new Pencil Pro. And to be fair, this one is better, but they kind of all do the same thing. They allow you to write on your iPad. So since I use GoodNotes and I have a lot of electronic documents that I am using, I really enjoy having the Apple Pencil. Otherwise, I don't really use the pencil in any of the other apps. I'm not an artist. I don't do digital art, anything like that. I really just use it when I'm using GoodNotes, which is every day. Next up, we have an Apple Pencil tip. Now, if you purchase an Apple Pencil, you're gonna have a tip that comes with it and you just screw it on here. I have a tendency to drop my Apple Pencil, not a lot, but a good amount, and I have damaged the tip numerous times. I even damaged the tip and this little gold piece that you screw the tip on. If you damage the tip, of course, you're gonna have to purchase a new tip, but if you damage this, you're gonna have to purchase a whole new pencil like I did. Not only that, but the pencil can become dull due to normal wear and tear, so it's just a good idea to have one or two on standby in the event that your pencil tip gets damaged. I do have other fun tips, like some that are more pointy, which helps with precision when I'm writing on my iPad. So you might consider getting one of those to kind of spruce up some things, but for the most part, I just recommend having a tip or two on standby in the event that your Apple Pencil becomes accidentally damaged. I mentioned that I occasionally drop my Apple Pencil and I not only sometimes damage the tip, but sometimes I damage the body as well. It'll just have like a little scratch or a nick or a ding. And to avoid all that, I recommend getting a case. I am currently using a silicone cover or a silicone case, but they have other cases that have larger barrels or that are made out of plastic or materials that are far more sturdy. So I recommend exploring those. Some of them even have tip covers. So it's like a little piece that you can put on top of the tip to protect it. Highly recommend investing in some type of case because while it is already expensive to purchase the pencil in and of itself, Tip replacements aren't that expensive. They cost dollars and getting a case can cost dollars as well. So in an effort to protect your investment, I just recommend getting a case or a cover of some sort. Moving on to the iPad itself. First of all, I am using an M4 Apple iPad Pro 11 inch. And I recently have come down from a 12.9 inch or a 13 inch and I'm loving this. I'm actually gonna do a video on my experience thus far. As it relates to the iPad in and of itself, I recommend getting a screen protector. I have on here a matte screen protector and I do love matte screen protectors because it does make for a better writing experience. It very much mimics the experience of writing with a pen or pencil and paper, which is why these are often called paper-like screen protectors or paper fill screen protectors because they help mimic that same experience. There are some matte screen protectors that are removable. There are other screen protectors that are removable. There are glass screen protectors. Now, when it comes to the matte screen protector, you are going to be somewhat diminishing the screen quality in the whole experience. And if you're spending a bunch of money on an iPad, you probably do not want to have a screen protector <laughs> to diminish that experience. But 
it helps protect the screen. I could not fathom just putting this in my backpack or my bag and just allowing the screen to get all scratched up. So for dollars, you can invest in a screen protector and help protect your screen at bare minimum. On the topic of helping to protect your iPad, which is already a pretty decent amount, I recommend getting a case of some sort. I actually recommend getting the most basic case that you can find, a very lightweight case, as long as it covers here and the back. If you have a screen protector, you don't really need to protect your screen any further. So you are gonna need some type of case though to protect your investment. I actually happen to have a very fancy case and it comes with a cover that magnetically attaches. So I do use this and I do recommend this, but at bare minimum, just a case that covers the back of the iPad so it's not getting scratched up. So throwing this in my backpack or in my bag is definitely going to be better. But again, in my experience, as long as there is something covering the back, you are good to go. You could also invest in a skin, but those are pretty expensive. You would not think that they would be. It's kind of like a big sticker that will protect the back of the iPad. But again, those are pretty expensive. You can get a case for like $10 or even less and those vinyl stickers or those skins can cost 30, 40, 50 plus dollars, which is a lot. And finally, I recommend a Magic Keyboard. This product is so clutch and it, it really just baffles me how it even works. I know it's called a Magic Keyboard, but I really feel like Apple was attempting to live up to that because I, I, I mean, I really just don't even know how it works. As an example, I could charge my Magic Keyboard, but I never have. I don't even know what the point is. As long as the iPad is charged, you don't have to have your Magic Keyboard charged. It's a wild experience. All you have to do is just connect the iPad to the Magic Keyboard, it attaches magnetically, and then immediately it is paired via Bluetooth, I guess. I don't know, it's literally sorcery, and you are able to go forth and type. Like, I can type away right now. Right now I'm typing. And it has a trackpad here. I do have the newer keyboard but it does have a trackpad here which is like a little mouse it has keys all the keys here it has this newer model actually has additional keys I'm pretty sure or there are, I feel like there are more keys yes I think the function row exists on this keyboard as opposed to the previous generation but it's literally magic and then you can just fold it and then this can be your case as well my only beef with just having this as a case, even though it's solid, is that you're gonna be putting it through the ringer if you are putting it inside of your backpack, outside of your backpack. I'm using a white one, so I run the risk of it getting far more dirty than if I were to just use a different protective case and have this on standby. I have used a Magic Keyboard, a white one specifically with the previous model, and I used that for years. So I can tell you firsthand about that experience. So I just recommend getting a secondary case so that you can kind of keep this on standby and don't have to be reliant on it. It's also super heavy. Even though this is supposed to be the lightest iPad to date, with the keyboard on it, it actually makes it pretty heavy. Far more weight than if I were to just use this little basic thin case right here. So I don't really recommend the iPad keyboard as a case but I do recommend having the iPad keyboard when I'm typing in Canva, creating thumbnails, when I'm typing in Google Documents, when I'm doing any kind of real work like in Microsoft Word, it is very helpful to have a keyboard. Yes, it's a pretty penny. Yes, there are other keyboards out there, but you don't have to charge this one. You don't have to like manually connect it via Bluetooth. It's just a very user-friendly experience and I highly recommend it. Maybe I should have gotten the black case since this is my second time around, but I just really like the look of the white one. So I'm just gonna keep using this how I've been using it, which is just reaching for it whenever I need it. I need the pencil and use it every day, but I don't need to use the case every day because I'm not doing those more serious tasks that require it as regularly as I am using GoodNotes or using my digital planner. That is actually going to be it for this video. I just wanted to share with you my favorite iPad accessories and the only ones that you actually need. I will have everything linked down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and if you're liking what you're seeing, and I will catch you guys right back here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye guys.